In this video, we're going to look at how we can sync our passwords with our other devices. When we have a username and password saved on our Mac, as an example, we can sync that username and password with our iPad or our iPhone. So then when we go to that website, the iPad and the iPhone will automatically fill it. Let's see how we sync our usernames and passwords with the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. Now the way that the Mac syncs your different usernames and passwords is through iCloud. So you have to be signed in with the same iCloud account on all of your different devices. So when we go to my Mac and I go to my system preferences, I go to the Apple menu here, and then we go over to our system preferences, you can see that I am logged in as Johnny Appleseed. And then when I go over to my iPad and iPhone, when I go over to my settings app here, you're going to see I am logged in as Johnny Appleseed. I am logged in on my iPhone as Johnny Appleseed too. So basically we need to make sure that we're logged in to the same account on all of our different devices. Now once you do that, what you need to do is go to your iCloud settings. On the Mac, what you'll do is you'll go over to your Apple ID. When you click on Apple ID, you're going to see iCloud. I click on iCloud and we can see all of the different services that we have available. The one that we want to make sure that we have selected is Keychain. Basically the way that this works is your Mac will save any usernames and passwords in Keychain and then it shares that Keychain across your different devices. Now in order to use this you do need to have two-factor authentication enabled on your iCloud account. So if you're not able to select this or when you select this what it may ask you to do is enable two-factor authentication. This makes it more secure, which is what you want because it is saving your usernames and passwords. So Apple is making sure that it is secure by enabling two-factor authentication. So I have two-factor authentication on here, which means that if I were to enter in my password on a new device, it'll text me a passcode on my iPhone so I can make sure that it is me or Apple makes sure that it is me. Once I turn this on, it will then save it in Keychain in iCloud. So now that it's in iCloud, how do I tell my iPad or my iPhone to use that same keychain? Well, let's go over to my iPad and iPhone and see how we do this. On the iPad and iPhone, what we need to do is, again, go to our iCloud settings. So on my iPad here, I just click on my name, John Appleseed, and then we go over to iCloud, and I can see all of the different services. Again, we need to go to Keychain here, and over on the right, we can see that mine is turned on. If it is not turned on, all you have to do is just click on this, and then you can turn it on. Again, you do need to have two-factor authentication turned on. On the iPhone, let's go over to my iPhone here. We go over to our Settings app again. And then I go over to my account, John Appleseed. And then we go over to iCloud again. Under iCloud, you're going to see Keychain. And again, we can see that this is turned on, but if it is not turned on, we just select that and then we turn it on. Now that keychain is turned on in iCloud on all of my different devices, as I go and save usernames and passwords or edit them or delete them, it's going to be synced across all of my different devices. So that's how we can sync our usernames and passwords across our different devices. To set it up on the Mac, you just go to your system preferences and then you go to iCloud. You're going to see keychain. On the iPad and iPhone, you'll do this through the Settings app. You just go to the Settings app, tap on your name, and then go to iCloud and you'll see Keychain. Once you have them all synced, any changes that you make to your usernames and passwords or any additions or any deletions, they will be synced across all of your different devices. So that's how we sync our passwords with our other devices on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.